Blue Driver Nation, how you doing? This is Jim and Chris back with you, this time on a 2007 Honda Civic. Today, we're gonna tackle the oxygen sensors. It's a very common fix on this vehicle, especially if you're around 100,000 miles. Your Blue Driver will tell you that you pulled a P0420 most commonly, but it could also be a P2A00, kind of an oddball code, or a P1172. Chris? Sometimes when you look at O2 sensors, you think, oh, this is gonna be a bit of a pain. On this car, it's unbelievably easy. One's right here, one's right here. There's nothing in the way. All you need is a socket or breaker bar and your O2 socket, and that's it. So let's get to saving some money. These are the tools you need to change your O2 sensor. This is O2 sensor number one pre-cat right here. So first, we're gonna disconnect the cable right here. I'm going to take O2 sensor socket, a breaker bar, seriously, just like that. All right, we got the new sensor. We're gonna put a thin little dab of copper anti-seize on the threads. Thread it in by hand. Torque to 33 foot pounds. Plug it in. And we're ready for sensor number two. The postcat sensor, or sensor number two, isn't very far away. It's just about a foot down the exhaust, right here, just behind the radiator fans. The sensor cable is right here. It clips onto a bracket, which is just next to the thermostat housing. Now, the cable connects to the bracket on the sensor side, unlike the other cable, and rust corrosion can kind of wedge it in place. You try to wiggle it off, you try too hard, you risk breaking this tab, then you're gonna have nowhere to put the new sensor. Since this sensor's coming off, and we're not gonna use this connector anymore, you can just take a pair of wire cutters, come in from the side, and you can cut the back of the connector, and then just pull it off. Then we just Press down on this tab and pull them apart. Now we remove the sensor with the same O2 sensor socket. There we are. All right, new sensor. Don't forget your copper anti-seize. This one actually came with some. So you just need to put a little bit on. You don't need to put it on thick. You don't want to forget this or it might never be coming off. And don't get it on the actual sensor portion, just the threads. Now we're gonna thread it in by hand. Angle torque to 33 foot-pounds. All right, we're gonna install the clip on the tab, on the bracket. And then we plug in the cable. Done. I think we set a land speed record for changing oxygen sensors there. I've changed oxygen sensors 10 times that. Piece of cake. If this video saved you a ton of time, saved you a ton of money like it did us, please like the video and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Until next time, fear no fix.